Think Leadership Innovation Exchange and this is IBM's uh, marquee event in the Think series. We're showing our progress in uh, research and technology and how it applies to various industries. This is the third time we are coming together with our flagship event, Think. The rate and the pace of change that's happening in our country gives us that energy and reason to do this. We will not just talk about the present, we'll also talk about the future. So we're going to talk about cloud, AI, security, and really a peek into the future of technology. And I'm going to invite Ginny on stage to take the kick. All right. Well, I get the chance to kick this off, and I have to tell you, it's a pleasure to be back here again. This is the fastest growing economy in the world, as I remind my team. And so having seen many different economies, I like as I come back to India every year to see what's different. And one of the things that strikes me different this year is the focus on digitizing government and the focus on eventually the world's largest cashless society, kind of a beginning and on its way here. There are a lot of uh, key takeaways from this event. One primary being the digital trust, which is like, most important. We also had some tracks in which of security where clients came and spoke about how they are embracing the technology to come more come this digital deluge. I think that's a great one. So each year, our IBM research organization puts forward five predictions that we believe are going to change the world within the next five years. Our existing farmable land is not being optimally used. About half the farmers suffer post-harvest losses. In the next five years, we will have the digital twin of all the world's farmlands. This will help us feed a growing population with less and less resources. The IBM AgroPad, it's a small business card sized piece of paper with an embedded microchip. All a farmer needs to do is place a soil sample on this piece of paper and in less than 10 seconds, you actually have the soil chemistry delivered. The cost to just the Indian economy from productivity loss because of foodborne illnesses is a tremendous $15 billion every year. There will be AI sensors that will proliferate at all points of the supply chain and will help us detect food pathogens even at home. Through the course of human history, we have produced 8 billion metric tons of plastic. But that's not the scary number. The scary number is the pace at which plastic becomes waste is increasing. Here's how Volcat works. You take plastic in its raw form, you combine raw plastic in whatever form you're going to trash it, heat it up to 200 degrees centigrade, and add a magic secret sauce. That secret sauce is the catalyst that our scientists have invented. The event was really great. Got to learn, got to know a lot of things that IBM is, uh, is into right now. See, one of the experiences that we gave for the first time was facial recognition using artificial intelligence, called it smart check-in. Over and above that, what we did was we did something on deep mapping just to show us an indication as to where the maximum footfalls are. What happens is when you know, 400 odd people come here, sometimes they get lost inside. So we use something called a smart assistant. There's several people who came and told us that the demos were fantastic. People are loving the project today, the thing. The sessions in the morning, the insights that we shared with people. Uh, it's been a great day. Uh, adrenaline, you know, really rushed, started with that in the morning. And I'm actually wondering how will I go to sleep tonight? It's been an exciting day and a lot of client interactions and we're looking forward to doing some good business with them.